thing to be able to do for this problem would be to look into using the one-to-one -one property. However, I cannot use the one-to-one -one property unless I have at least my exponent isolated, okay? So I'm gonna get rid of this 40. So I'll divide by 40 on both sides. Hopefully you guys understand that five over 40 can be reduced to one eighth because five goes into five one time and five goes into 40 eight times. So I have one fourth raised to the x over three equals one eighth. Now, if you guys remember, we, I really don't like fractions as much as you guys do, right? So we know we can get away from fractions by using negative powers. Now we have an issue here. We don't have the same basis, right? We don't have the same basis. However, can we rewrite the base 4 and the base 8? Yes. Sure. Can we rewrite them as the same base raised to a power? Sure. 2. 2 squared is um, yeah. 2 squared is 4 and 2 cubed is 8. Now remember the power rule, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, please remember when you, when you have an exponent raised to another power, you're multiplying. So in reality, I'm doing 2 squared raised to the negative first. So you'd multiply 2 times negative 2, right? 2 times negative 1, which would be negative 2. And then multiply that by x over 3. So therefore, I get an equation negative 2 over 3 x equals negative 3. Does everybody see how I did that? because I don't need the bases anymore, right? The bases are the same, so I just set the exponents equal to each other. And when you have powers raised to another power, you just multiply them. So by multiplying all these, I get negative 2 thirds x. By multiplying 3 times negative 1, I get negative 3. It's OK. If you want to do something, you could ask it. So now I need to solve for x. So you could multiply by 3 on both sides, divide by 2, or you could just multiply by the reciprocal. And I'd get x equals positive 9 halves. No calculator needed. <laughs> oh, I didn't hear him. So. Unless he's not allowed to use his calculator. <laughs> 